This video is being made solely at your request. There's a lot of things that shouldn't be happening in this video. And this is a Hollywood production set. So I'm hoping that proper medical care was given afterwards, at the very least. It's gonna get rough, it's gonna get weird, and we're gonna react to it. Okay, whoop. What are you gonna be doing today? Hit somebody in the nuts. <laughs> Francis hits harder than any heavyweight in the MMA. Like I've been hit by Ryan Garcia, but Ryan Garcia is like 140, 150 pounds. This gentleman is like 200, 200 plus. No, I told Aaron it was a lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell him it was a heavyweight. Jeff and I forgot to mention that. That's not a fucking lightweight. <laughs> what are you talking about? What the no. This no. is the cup yeah. test. <laughs> Before he punches, this is gonna be brutal to watch. The painful area is the testicular area. That will get you nauseous, that will be terrible. If he hits with an uppercut that can trap the testicle against the pubic bone, it can actually cause a testicular rupture. I hope that's not what happens. Oh my God! Is that the hardest you've ever hit someone in the ding ding? Oh yeah. <laughs> Forget about the pressure on the, the genital area. The cup actually going into the bones there, the sides of the plastic cup. And this is the softball test. Okay. Play ball! Wow, the accuracy of that. I mean, this can cause you to become infertile. This is not a fun game for anyone to play. Like you could actually get develop a hematoma in this area that is a surgical emergency. Here we are at some random ass ranch. And this is the brand. Ready? Oh no. Why do they do this? With a peen? Please tell me they're gonna disinfect the skin. Clean them up. Oh. That's not really. <laughs> disinfecting doesn't mean wiping with a dirty towel. Go, go, go. He did it twice. Oh my god. Those are some serious burns there because he burned past the epidermis. He's in the dermal layer there. When you have serious burns throughout your entire body, the biggest risk is dehydration because your skin isn't able to maintain the moisture of your body. You have electrolyte disturbances and hydrating the patient and constantly checking those electrolytes is of utmost importance. What am I looking at? What he am gave I me a at? dick farm on my ass. <gasps> oh, that looks infected. That needs oral antibiotics. You're gonna have that for life. No sh if you're having fun watching this reaction, you're gonna have fun watching me on stage. Go into these four cities, Boston, Philly, DC, Red Bank, New Jersey. Click down below for tickets. All right, let's get back to Jackass. So today I'm gonna treat myself Ooh. to some wasabi snooters. Oh, I remember watching this. This is old. By the way, wasabi in the US is usually just horseradish that's been dyed green. And the reason that it kind of makes you tear up and it affects your nostrils is because it's smaller than the capsaicin molecules that normally trigger the spiciness on your tongue. So it actually gets up into your nose. Whoa! <laughs> I just had sushi too, so this makes it so much worse. Oh, he throws up! So what we're gonna do is extract Aaron's crooked tooth and then we're gonna replant it just like you would a tree. No, that's not how it works though. I'm Danger Aaron, and this is the Lamborghini tooth pull. Oh no. <laughs> One, you could not pull the tooth out correctly, and if there's decay there, the tooth can crack. You could actually pull the tooth out so much so that you could damage the bone that the tooth is attached to. Or you could sever the gum. And when you sever the gum, you're just gonna have crazy bleeding. Are you stoked? Uh, I hope it's loose already. <laughs> That sounded like it was a healthy tooth. Why do they pull out a healthy tooth? I wish I could say that didn't suck. <laughs> that was worse than the Tom Hanks scene from Castaway. A lot of doctors, they think they're God, you know? <laughs> Not me. Yeah, because you got a four-year-old stethoscope around your neck, champ. For our next challenge, our friend Jules here is going to help poopies kiss this deadly viper. <laughs> what kind of snake is it? Uh, venomous? <sighs> <laughs> I hate when people say eh. I asked that to the person, the animal keeper at the last place I was at. I was like, is it venomous? He's like, yeah, the venomous is like an ant bite. I was like, what does that mean? I'm a kid. Move your head. Closer. Move your head. Closer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. Okay, snakes don't have rabies. They're not like bats, but they do have tetanus. You can get a tooth stuck in you because it dislodges. Confidence is very, very high with our third contestant, uh -huh. Steve-O, for the skateboard guillotine. Where is that going to fall? I hope not on his oh. neck. <gasps> Shin bone? On Shin bone. Three. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, Shin's getting hit like that. So many nerve endings firing. Bad memories from Taekwondo when I was younger. Oh my God. Shin's a Shin contact. 
I'm Butterbean. Oh, Butterbean. Today we're going to do a little boxing. Oh, okay. A little boxing action. I'll take it. Touch gloves and come out fighting. I love that he has a mobile belt. Oh, bad form. Bad form. No punching to the back of the head. That's the occipital region. Give me, give me, give me once. Let me see. There you go. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, that second hit is the most dangerous hit because at that point you're not protected. You have no muscle tone. You're just completely flaccid. That allows more of that ricochet feeling. Oh, I think he hit his head on one of the counters. I don't know. Apparently I have a big gash in my head and I think I'm a little concussed. Well, a big gash in the head, surprisingly, isn't usually fixed by sutures. It's fixed by staples. That's right. We have a special staple gun that instead of pushing down the staples, it kind of wraps the staples around your skin. And then to remove it, we just kind of fold the staple outwards. This is super mighty glue. Who's got tummy hair? Not me. Are they going to wax him? <laughs> no, I think, I think this is going to work. Oh, no. All right, are you ready? Now, oh, oh my God. God. And he's oh, putting yeah. pressure on. on. First of all, spoiler alert, they're not gonna be able to pull these hands off and it's not gonna just pull the hair off with him. This is potential skin tearing. Thank God they're not older because older patients will tear their skin off. Oh, oh maybe they did take off the hairs. They exfoliated the gentleman's chest. Please. Somebody go get me the stun gun. No! Ah! Oh, 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 look at his skin tearing. Look at his skin tearing. Ah! <laughs> look at my fucking nipple! Oh! Did he know? Yeah, man. Good job. What did he, he just got into a car accident. And going from whatever miles per hour he was driving to zero is actually the most dangerous because that inertia will keep your organs moving, keep your brain moving, so they hit against your chest wall. You get some serious blunt force trauma that way. This is Electric Avenue. Are those tasers? Each one of these stun guns has 950,000 volts. That's a lot of volts. And also they're like quick touches as opposed to sustained pressures. Oh, police issued stun guns or tasers have 50,000 volts. And the ones that have been tested by police, they can become problematic when you're already on other substances or if you have an existing heart condition. But generally the purpose of them is to overwhelm your central nervous system so much so that you have no control and you go limp and you could actually be subdued. And we found a leech healer and these boys need a little healing. Let's see what they can do for my eyeball. Like if I was to vote on the worst place to put a leech, it would probably be your eyeball. The leeches bite, that's how they're actually able to suck blood. They have chemicals in there that actually prevent coagulation of blood so they can keep draining you of blood. Some of them can be beneficial in patients who have a clotting disorder, in patients who have a lot of inflammation, but the eye is not the place where you want that to happen. Oh my God. Just, he's gonna start bleeding into his eye. This is terrible. Corneal abrasions, so many problems can happen if it's not a regulated leech. This is terrible. You scratch your cornea, that requires like instant treatment, otherwise it can become problematic. You could actually start bleeding into your eye, creating like a little pocket of bleeding. And that's just not an area where you want pressure to build up because that could very quickly start affecting your vision and potentially permanently. This is the butt shot. Oh, no. <laughs> I already don't like it. I don't like a funnel. Oh, no, he's doing the enema with alcohol. <laughs> Oh, open wide. Oh my God. You know, it's like, they're laughing at this, but this is actually a real problem because you get drunk quicker and it, it's actually really problematic for two reasons. First is that you, you lose the first pass uh, metabolism of the alcohol. When you drink, your liver is able to clean it out before it starts going to your uh, bloodstream. If you over enema yourself with too much alcohol, you can't vomit and you could actually cause severe, severe alcohol intoxication. 18 year olds in college parties have done this and ended up having lethal seizures. It's really problematic. How many bee stings do you think we can take? I think it takes about 100 to kill a man. That is not accurate. The official number is like 10 per pound of body weight. So like the average human can take over like a thousand stings and be okay. Also, that's keeping in mind if you're not allergic. Like if you have severe anaphylactic attacks to bee stings, it's gonna take much less than that. Got a butt ton of bees. Oh, that's like just mean to the bears. bees too. This is beehive tether bomb. Oh, oh fucking shit. shit. Oh. Ah, 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 I can't do it anymore. Please put me somewhere where there's no bees. It's a carbon dioxide. Dave doesn't it's understand is that the more you freak out, the more you get stung. Idiot. Both of you are idiots, my friend. I'm Wee Man, and this is the triple wedgie. Three, two. No, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. 
Oh my God. The perineum, the area between the testicular region and the anus is particularly sensitive to injury. And if it does get cut, you're gonna get a mean infection there. That's an area you don't want an infection. A little angel hanging in the air. Not doctor approved. Look at the reservoir tip. At least he knows what the reservoir tip is. The area that we allow semen to go into so it doesn't pop the condom. I'm lubing up the little toy car. What is he gonna do with the car? Because I'm going to put it in my butt. Why though? You're gonna watch this, you're making me uncomfortable. What is the purpose of the stethoscope? You're gonna listen to the butt? You know how many patients do this and then lose the object inside of them and then have to come into the hospital to get like an emergency colonoscopy or a flexible sig? I was partying last night with some frat guys. I passed out. I must've fallen down and broken something because I haven't been able to walk right since. We're gonna take x-ray now, okay. to be sure. First of all, no good doctor will ever do an x-ray without doing a proper physical exam. <laughs> Her face! Es un carrito. I would've known if I ate that. No, you, you won't be able to swap that. Well, how did a car toy get there? Maybe you stuck it up your ass. I didn't stick anything up my ass. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, I never seen that in there. No, right. He already knew that too many people. What is this doctor's advice? Oh my god, is he getting bees thrown on? And you're putting honey on me and salmon? <gasps> Talk to it, Aaron. Try to calm it down. Oh no, it's going for the salmon. Oh Did no. he consent to this? Mr. Bear, eat that dick. <laughs> Do I need to say that that's not medically safe? A little different than bear, your bear. Yeah, bear, come here. This is what a nice bear feels like. Bad. Do I taste like honey and salmon? Emotional support complete. I am Johnny the Magnificent. Today I'm going to wow you with my supreme skills of prestidigitation. Oh, <laughs> oh! That's a hamstring tear. Did he get a concussion? He didn't even mess around, dude. He turned around and just nailed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It's <laughs> what hit first? What hit first here? Hey. Oh, see, it's that hit of the head onto the floor that really knocked him out. So it looks like he has a broken arm. Uh, hello there. How are you? Good, what's new? Uh, Clavicle, maybe? Broken wrist, broken rib, concussion. But I was supposed to pour the milk in the hat and then put the hat back on and no milk come out. Did milk come out? <laughs> There's some milk on the pan. Oh, oh, shit. Painful to watch, but you know what's more painful? These painful medical devices. I cannot believe some of these were actually approved for use. Click here to check that out, and as always, stay happy and healthy.